Hey what's up guys so after a long wait and quite a bit of anticipation the One UI 7 update is finally rolling out not just for the latest Galaxy S24 and S23 models but now for the older flagship models like S22 series as well. But despite the new features and the Android 15 there are some drawbacks of the One UI 7 update as well as some of the users are facing some issues with the update. So the One UI 7 brings in a bunch of new features, performance improvements and a refreshed UI but before you jump in there are some new couple of issues that some users have been reporting and I want you to avoid them. I will tell you some of the precautionary measures that you can take to avoid these issues of green line and some other issues. But first of all if you haven't got it yet here's how you can check for the update manually by simply going into the settings then software update download and install from here you will get to see this one US 7 update available. So the green line issue is a hardware issue and it is usually caused due to the high temperature while updating your software. So make sure to update the device when your device is completely cooled down and it is in a cool temperature. Make sure to update it in a cool temperature room or environment. Especially during the installation of the update the phone gets heat up a lot. And due to this heat up, your phone can get this green line. And not only this, the One UI 7 also has this issue of lock screen delay to lock it. As you can see, when I lock it, it takes a while to lock. This issue is on the Galaxy S24 series. As for now, I'm not sure about the S23 and an S22. Let me know in the comment section that if you are facing this issue on these devices. And here's the easy fix from the display in the settings you have to change the screen resolution to QHD+. After changing the screen resolution this issue will be resolved for a time but it will consume more battery. As it is already mentioned in the QHD+, that it consumes more battery. So these were some of the issues that many users were facing after the One US 7 update. And this was the precautionary measure that you guys can take before updating your device to the One US 7 update. And that's a wrap for today's video. Let me know in the comment section that have you got the One US 7 update on your Galaxy S22 Ultra or not yet. And if you're new on this channel, so make sure to like and subscribe.